All right, welcome back to Gundam Breakout Series Summer Clash. My name is Lacrum. I'm joined here by Cyber Rank, and wow, we've had some very impressive showings today on the Gundam Evolution. Right? <laughs> wow. Just some, uh, some quick matches. Some quick matches. A lot of them. Uh, probably all of them, actually. Now that I come to think of it. But I, are we getting into the meat and potatoes of this schedule right now? Are we getting into the the hardcore, the matches that we're all very, we're just dying to see? Because I think we are. Yeah, I think we are as well. I also think that our community is a bunch of, you know, folks that really enjoy rooting for underdogs. They really enjoy the risks, the rewards, the gamble, some would say. And uh, man, you know, but Fusion's not playing that game. <laughs> They're definitely not playing that game at all. Uh, Camille's a man's name, sitting at 3-0. Matthew Ducks at 2-2. Gundam 7 Stars, 1-2. Wizards of Oz uh, with one under their belt and two defeats. I mean, we got, we got a day. You know, the day's still young. Who knows? It's still anyone's game. It really is. And speaking of game, up next, we do have Matthew Ducks versus Wizards of Oz. The fourth and fifth, respectfully, uh, place teams right now in the current bracket. And I got to say, I'm really, really looking forward to what Wizards is going to be bringing to the table because yeah. I don't know if you know this, I may compete in a, a, a separate league. Uh, I, I think it has something to do with a, a coarse hair or a, a cross. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's not so they've been busy. important. They've been busy. They've been busy. Yeah. They've been cooking. Okay. They've been cooking over there. And I'm really excited to see how – they stack up against Mafty Ducks. We just saw Mafty Ducks pull out a tremendous, tremendous victory yeah. over Gundam Seven Stars. And uh, I think they're looking to repeat that uh, repeat that W. I hope so. Because, you know, I'm here for games. I'm here for long ones. I'm here for cool ones. I'm here for good ones. And I'm, a little, I'm a little unsatisfied right now just because it's, I want those really long, gritty matches. So I do know that uh, from what we've seen so far, it's just been one of those games where someone locks someone out and then that's the decider. Um, speaking uh -huh. of decisions being made, we got a lot, again, Colony Trading Post being the star MVP of today's uh, tournament, of today's event, with, um, again, Underground Command Center, Canyon Base, Missile Base, Lunar Comp Station all being banned out. Uh, it's just, I, no one wants those gambles, you know? And again, right. it's wild to see that there's no um this like even no thermal plant or mountain r d there like you know it's just no domination no, no mountain r d yeah no domination maps it's it's been only uh you know it's only been the destruction maps and you know what i'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that with that being mafty ducks pick just just smart gameplay really from them they just got yeah. the w on that map they just yeah. they know that there's a couple things that they could probably hone in and and perfect in order going up against wizards but uh here's the thing they don't know is the wizards came to riz all right and they are not going to be backing down they just watched that match i'm sure and they're going to be bringing the heat so uh what do you say let's get it going <sighs> I mean, it's, yeah, <laughs> I'm ready for a show. Again, it's like Wizards, Wizards of Oz, you know, it's a great name, uh, but can that name, you know, hold them, can they hold that name accountable? Yeah, Just can, because can, they, can they live up to it? Can they? It's, I think, I think in this situation, Matthew Ducks, they got their, they, they're, they got themselves in a row. Um, they know what they're doing. They know how to swim in this situation. And if they can just continue to do what they're doing, I don't know. Can the Riz swim? Can we'll the Riz out. swim? Can the Riz fly? Find out after this break.
Yeah. Welcome back. How's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. Welcome back. Hi. Hello. I'm Cyberington, joined by LaCrum, the one, here to just, you know, Gundam Evolution. It's a phenomenal game. I hope you go out and, you know, at least try it before its limited time of uh, ending service in just a couple of months, which will all hold a, we'll, we'll figure something out. Maybe we'll hold like a uh, login screen vigil or something. Oh, God. <laughs> just, just play Everyone, the last shooting, you know, just boom. Yeah, it's, yeah, you know, it's something like that. But uh, nah, we're not here for that. We're here for games. We're here for uh, games, and we're here for this next game for sure. Mafty Ducks versus Wizards of Oz. I am so looking forward to this one. I really am hoping it's going to be on the same map. All right, we, we're, we're going back to Colony. Back to back, Colony. And can Mafty Ducks, can they, can they repeat what they just showed us in the last match? Can they, can they show us that dominance again? And uh, shut them out from even getting a first plant off. You know, while we were uh, waiting in the wing, uh, you were telling me all of these amazing things about Wizards of Oz, and I look forward to seeing that stuff in action, and especially because you know, um, Nafti had the opportunity to play the team that's dominating in this event so far um, today. So that gave them again that 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 feeling of like, hey guys, we all know what we should be doing. This is, you know, you know, we all know what we should be doing. Um, they just showed us what we should be doing. And, uh, you know, getting that experience is very critical. And so Rizzers of Oz, I, I just hope that they're already at that point where they're like, we know what we need to do. We've seen them play and uh, we just get a nice even game. Right. I mean, you know, looking yeah. down the roster of Rizzers, it this is a stacked team. It really is. Castian, yeah. Garmazabi, Miel, Cobaltic. Dizzy, Dizzy Wizzy. We got the Dizzy Wizzy up in here. Fire Spike, yeah. Nostra Demon, all just fantastic players, all top tier competitors. And uh, they're really good. I think they're going to give uh, Mafty Ducks a run for their money. I really do. I hope so. We're going to have to look at, we're going to, I think we're going to have to look at the damage output as well at the end of the first round because Detta has been doing a lot of damage. Uh, Man. For, yeah, for Mafty Ducks. That and so an I think we do have some key players that are going to set the standard. All right, getting into this. Mafty Ducks versus Wizard of Oz. It looks like we've got the GBS staff and audience voting for Mafty Ducks. 78%. Yeah. It's not giving Wizards a chance, but the, mission the two is of us. To begin. The men behind the mics. Cyber Rank and Lacrum are both in it for Wizards of Oz. I'm still on the fence. <laughs> I'm going to need them. I'm going to need some convincing. I really am. I'm going to need some convincing. You know, I've seen, uh, we've seen Mafty Ducks just do what they've done on both ends, um, you know, getting knocked down and uh, pulling themselves back up. But, you know, I am looking to be surprised. Let me put it like this. I am looking to be surprised. Oh, I think you're in for quite a treat because we do have Dizzy Wizzy up on their main on the fable butterfly that that lunar gundam and uh it looks like the rest of the team following suit with their their go-to picks we've got the hyperion the dawn the ash the d2r which we've seen across the board actually uh in a lot of different team comps and uh presents itself here again today fire spike on that hail rider and they're gonna be pushing straight through the tunnel straight to waypoint still being popped out here by miel trying to gain a little bit of space not really seeing much here, but they were able to put a little bit of heat onto Heart Song, and uh, it looks like Mappy Ducks are going to kind of give him this one up, trying to play that safely. Oh! But as They're I said, about to collide. That, yeah, here comes a collision. Just you know, usually right works there. Into, one person runs into the other, and uh, it seems that I mean Mappy Ducks are trickling down one at a time. Yeah, just like that. Just huge dominance on the side of Rizzard. Garma Zabi going for the plant right there. Crook really just trying to, to stay alive, trying to keep like the, the pressure onto him, but not really not really doing much there as uh gonna get really low at action. It's taken Wait. down by Castin. I don't know why it took me so long. It Garma Zabi? The Garma Zabi? The Garma Zabi on that pass. I've seen Garma Zabi in action before, and let me just tell you, they've definitely left an imprint in my mind. Um, I, it all makes sense now. A lot of this is starting to come together. You know, just seeing that uh, is 
is just going for this objective. They're pulling it down. They're winning just some of their engages and just enough that's keeping that objective going in their favor. It's it's starting to make sense. As we're saying that, Perp goes down pretty quickly there. Milkshake also going down. Those are key hits on the side of Rizzard. Oh, secured. Fire spike up there. Oh, this is, yeah. This is objective that's it. Is we're theirs. finally going to get an explosion, yeah. baby. And there we have it. First target of Colony Trading Post actually being blown up here as we see the Wizards of Oz trying to take it here to Mappy Ducks. Just storming down that entrance right there, getting through the tunnel. Oh, and as you say, that heart song with a beautiful kill on the Garma. You know, we've had a lot of matches today, but this is our first game, you know? Yeah! <laughs> this it. here is our first game. It definitely seems to be one that, I mean, you got it now. Here's the tough part, because now you have to you got to get in there and you got to get that first checkpoint that's at least going to help your team buy some time so you can start working on the objective uh planting that bomb but i mean some teams have died here so and that first exactly point was very true. impressive we do see Kester popping that dom ult here and you're going to try and get as much detail out of it as possible oh big value oh that was beautiful you know that was honestly beautiful pathing wasn't obstructed, went around the entire perimeter of the point. Anyone that was attacking him who was trying to go for his backside, obviously where that's vulnerable, I mean, they just killed themselves in the process. However, a great G-Man comes out in zone of the zone denial, and it didn't work. He was still able to be planted in the Riz's, uh, in the Riz's favor, even though it's being disarmed. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the like wipe. Oh, but Perk does get picked up. He's earned about five mil kick. He's super balls. He's trying yeah. to pressure a little bit. He does have his G-Maneuver here. Maybe because he's just stunned them long enough for Fire Spike to pop down there with that Hades. He got two stuns, actually, on the side of Rizzards of Oz. And it looks like, like I said, boom, Punch comes out. Oh, yeah, no. Hit me out. This, this is a much shorter uh, defense point now for Mafty Ducks. And, oh, I mean, I can't, never mind. I'm eating my own words. Boom, oh, team <laughs> kill. <a> team kill. <laughs> And just the like that, kill. just like that, Rizzards of Oz popping in all of their util really. Meowth, Meowth though still has been that, uh, that Lumiere Lancier thingy Mabobber. I can never pronounce that correctly and I never will, but HYG popping off the Adamo here. Gonna be just taking it through. Maybe looking to, uh, take that waypoint, but Meowth with a huge ult! Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's three! Milkshake left to try and defend top their new maneuver. And oh my gosh, they get just a swarm of Rizzes. And the oh, he looks alive right now. He's still alive. And we see, oh, we see the butterfly ult though. The, the clutch butterfly ult as just, the, the just are trying to go off here. Not popping it, holding on to it as long as he can. Right, OG, hold on to it. Oh, there it is. And there it is. As soon as the Hades gets popped from Perp, the butterfly rings out true. Look How at poetic. that. <laughs> and, and there that's it is. Be the first round. Yeah, round over going to Riz. It's just, it's crazy. It's, I, I get it now. I'm Rizzed. I feel You're it. You're Rizzed. Dude. I feel Rizzed. Let's go. That was amazing. I get that's, it now. that's what we've been waiting for. That's what, Holy that's what you crap. were craving, correct? I mean, yeah, I, it's just, I'm starting to feel it. That tingly feeling in your spine where it's just, it's coming. It's, wow. Um, I do think Mafty Ducks is, they're, 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 they're in a situation now where, I don't know, maybe they underestimated their opponent. You know, it, it could have been, but they were immediately surprised. So who knows? I, I guess, if they do what was done back to them, especially because, you know, in Gundam Evolution, you know, if you in the first sweep, if you plant that bomb, that sends a statement, really you know, does. like no one dies. You go, you guys go. It's like, all right, you beat us on defense, but on attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We yeah. See, we may see some overtime here because I right. know for a fact, Mafty Ducks has the capability. They have the firepower. They have the team cohesion to get exactly that done. We just got to see uh, how strong this defense of uh, Wizards of Oz is going to be. Because that's the crazy thing about this map. It's just that 
when you die on that first checkpoint, it's so far. You know, it's oh, so, it's, so, and I usually play a lot of units that have like speed capabilities or what have you. But when I switch the melee Zaku on this, I'm like, by the time I get there, the bomb will explode. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's so long. Plunking away uh, like a, maybe, like a overweight Buzz Light you're trying to run Right. Yeah. Like I just ate a, I just came from Golden Corral and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm going to take a nap. Might as well not go back out. Uh, but that might be the saving grace uh, that gives uh, Matthew Duffs the opportunity to find those bombs. Whoa! Players floating around everywhere. Bouncing in and out of existence, but we do see Garbus Albi try to light the fire underneath him as actually yeah, it goes down pretty quick there. Like said, it's all about the Ooh, oh, oh yeah. That uh, <laughs> little dumb. <laughs> I believe we do have some players that are not, uh, North American servers are not their primary servers. <laughs> well, it seems like that for sure. I mean, yeah. a lot of bouncing back and forth. Your perk phone's got a nice health, able to Definitely stay alive. And, oh, look at that. One frame, two frame, three frame, blue. That was not able to get out a mistake from the error that is perk. Oh, we do see Deta going down as the end, though. Garbasabi really low. Does go down. And it's looking like perk really taking advantage of these slideshow kills. Just, there's no safe place. There's just no no nowhere you can hang out that's safe to keep you away from gunfire at this moment. Everyone's just coming out and going down. Uh, it's it's just it's not what you want to see. <laughs> no, <laughs> you I know, mean, yeah. that's you what know, obviously, lightly, I mean, feeling like the time the travel wiped yeah, over here. They want to see this, but this is definitely not a situation for Matthew Duck to be favor. Uh, unless they can plant this, keep the plant, they hold this long enough, even though that Hyperion bubble is a phenomenal idea. Um, they do get the plant just, off, though. A they plant do get the plant. Down. And we're going to see, uh, man, Perfect's just putting in so much work right now, taking advantage of those team spikes. Uh, Miel really coming forward here to try and push push back against the Matthew Ducks and uh, Rizzard. Oh, they're trying. They're trying to get in there. They're trying to get yeah. anything down. Really low. Heart song really low. But the heals are I don't know, the damage, the damage does look like it's being split between a lot of the players right now. With Yeah. Uh, a couple of them going starting to go down. Um, it's just... It's hard to... really hard to tell who's in the lead. You know that bomb is planted because they keep trading. But Wizards is definitely having a situation where they just start falling apart. And again, I think I was right about that. When it comes to this map, once you go down, you gotta come all the way back and that siren's blaring. It's so hard to recover from a couple of wipes. Uh, and the first objective is taken by uh, Nasty Ducks. Yeah, Wizards though doing a really, really, really good, good thing here. They retreated back to the box. They retreated back to their sanctuary. And uh, they retreated with Ultimate Pack. And this as is I in say that, favor, though. As I say that, though, Perp's going to be throwing up the Hades. He does get stunned pretty badly. Cobaltic picking up a 2k right there. 3k! Cobaltic going crazy on it. Oh, we do see Ghetto with the punch stone picking up Meow. And it's going to be 3 down for the size of the race. Can they hold on to this? Dizzy Wizzy trying to do all he can here. Trying to pick up Trook. Fire Spike, though, does pick up Trook, actually. And we are going to get the res here on Cobaltic. So look, just like you said. Boom! Mm -hmm. They're back in this. Two G maneuvers up on the side of Matthew Duck, though. They got that milkshake G maneuver and the Brook G maneuver. And it looks like. Oh, Cassie! Right, Matthew Duck's with the assault, yeah. You know, we sell once this Dobby uh, uh, G maneuver comes out. It's just, it's that time. The team goes in. Oh my goodness, and of course, the Dom ult Great defense. followed by yeah. the Hades. Team Beautiful kill. team kill. Wow. Fire Spike holding it down there along with Cassidy's beautiful remaining. ult synergy. Now here's the thing, what do you do as Matthew Ducks to try and get get ahead of this? You've got Heart Song's team maneuver coming up, you've got HYG. Do you sync those together? Do you try and push them through? I guess time will tell as Heart Song getting dangerously low. Still hasn't popped that yet, though. He's trying to get through. They do have the shield up, but oh, just Cobaltic coming in out of nowhere. It looks like they're just super scattered right now.
This is rough. This is not a situation that you want to be in. This is extremely rough, especially when you've tried multiple times and you're just trying to get in there. You're trying to get in there. You're trying, and it's just every opportunity is just not working out in your favor. You have to look at your team and go, guys, you're wrong. what are you doing wrong? Let the adrenaline stop running and think. Let your gaming do the talking as you do see. HYG popping in there. You still see Heartstone with his team maneuver, and this is exactly what they needed. The dam's going out to the side of Maxi Ducks. Yeah, but you know what? In a situation like this, you you you've lived it before. You you've gotten the enemy team down. It's Bill gonna try and hit the oh. But but, but you, you gotta admit, too much time was wasted on that checkpoint. There's one guy left. All everyone else is alive. Why does it take five people, six people, to defend that one checkpoint? Oh. So in a situation like this, them trying to go in, they're just gonna receive the same treatment because hey, you gave the enemy team time to recover. And is there's one thing we've noticed so far. Uh, the Wizards just need an opportunity and they'll exploit it in their favor. Yeah, and it's looking like Crook just trying to defend the waypoint with his life. He's doing anything he can. Does come up on his team maneuver, but isn't able to fight. Oh, sorry, excuse me. That was the team maneuver of Perp actually coming up. But uh, Perp going down pretty quick there as we do see the pushback again from I, the side of the Wizards. We got less than 60 seconds left on the clock. That last play that you saw was exactly what we needed to see. However, too much time was used not moving into the next objective. How many times have you done harbor? Over here, I mean, they're going in again. How many times have you done harbor? No one waits at the first objective. You always start oh. setting up for the next one. The counter G maneuver from the Hyperion. But this yeah. is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, you but in. Through. Doesn't matter what your allies are doing. You want to plant that bomb. You and he does. Up ahead and at least create that chaos, create that distraction. And then you wait. You let your team come in and, and, and continue to help. It's just this, that's what we needed to see the last play. Yes, that is what we needed to see, but we're hoping that maybe they can, uh, nope, remaining. they just didn't get back there in time. Yeah. Nine seconds left, are they going for that A plan? Seen this game long enough, Five, that, that, that four, emote was perfect. Three, two, that was two, perfect, love one, to see it. Zero. You earned it, you earned it. The so, Wizards taking this victory, GG. GG, well played, absolutely, just great. Great showing by both teams there. Matthew Ducks had so many, so many chances and had so many great looks. Garmazabi picking up the well-deserved MVP right there. I told you, man. The Wizards had a little bit of Riz for you. They had some magic actually coming in. Riz is uh, the boss. You told me. You told me. You definitely did. I will say, LaCrum, you're a man of your word. And you definitely you had confidence in that. Uh, you know... Nafty Ducks just set a standard. Uh, the Wizards of Oz came in and just pushed the bar a bit. Um, uh, you know, I, I think the part my heart sank when I saw Nafty Ducks go in, and it was like it was, it was perfect. The Dom all pushing in, everyone following behind. They get to the they get to the checkpoint, and they're there, but they stopped. And they didn't have to. Team wipe. Wizards, you know, back in spawn, licking their wounds. Someone should have been, at least four of one of them should have said, guys, you got this. I'm going to keep going to the, plant that bomb. I'll see you there in a second. But that didn't happen. And because no. so many people waited behind, they ended up in a situation where they gave the Wizards of Oz time to recover. And time that, to recover those and time seconds to... were so critical. So yeah. critical and and just had the time to really get back and pl like plant their feet. Yeah. And, you know, it's one of those things you uh, you really just kind of are hoping for the Hyperion ult to be coming out on top of what they just did. Yeah. And instead it came out just a little too late. Not not the only thing that, that became a trip up for uh, Mafty Ducks. There were a couple other opportun missed opportunities, but overall both teams playing their hearts out and doing an yeah. absolutely fantastic job. Yeah, shout out to both teams. I love games like that when we actually get to see the full game played through using all the objectives. Uh, it was just, it was awesome. It's just, again, like, man, you know, it, it just goes to show that sometimes, you know, there's a saying, at least in fighting games, but, you know, uh, you win based off of the opportunity. You win based off of the opportunities and mistakes that your opponent gives you. You know, that's that's winning. If your opponent makes enough mistakes or if they don't capitalize on enough opportunities, then you kind of win by default. 
No, that's very you true. know, it's only it's only gonna go on one side. And again, uh, everyone, my um, everyone waited on that checkpoint. And in my mind, I'm like, why are they just standing there? Go, 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 go! And it's just one guy who's like, "Haha, I tricked all of you. You're all attacking me." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They fell for the classic bait. The classic bait. Fell. That really was the classic bait. <laughs> it really was. It really was the classic bait. Uh, you hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it, but you love to see it because we actually got so you, yeah, much content out of that. We got so much game out of that. Yeah, we did. We definitely did. Um, oh, it's great. I'm looking forward to seeing what else the Wizards of Oz can pull out in this event. Um, I, this is what Summer Clash is all about, you know? Like, right? this is why we're here. This is why we do this. We want to see these things. And, and it's really cool that Gundam Evolution seems to be the only game that is able to clearly convey uh, a team shooting experience because in our game, it's 6v6. It's not 5v5. Whew. Like, some, you know, you know, those, you know those games out there where it's like, like, oh, you can't deal with 6 six v You can't deal with five other people on the screen with you. This is Gundam Evolution. We got 6v6. We don't need rolls, right? The only other other esport popping to mind right now. Lots of other esports, I guess, but but that's not the point, okay? Right. Uh, This ATF two. Beautiful thing about right, you you can spectate this game so clearly. But again, you know that's why we like spectating it. That's why we like watching it. it. And that's why all of you are here to watch Gundam Evolution with us today. And thank you, everybody, for for sticking through and watching this with us. Summer Clash has been absolutely a blast for me personally and i hope y'all at home are having a blast as well yeah hell yeah stay cool stay hydrated um because these matches are hot (laughs) 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 these matches are hot look at that a flare light just hit lacrum but these matches are hot oh man but uh man that last match really had me just because i i thought it was going to end with one team unable to get to the second objective. Uh, both teams are basically able to pull that through. But um, man, you know, even when we look at the damage, it's just, it's crazy to see that uh, Garmin, like I said, guys, fuck. <laughs> it's Garmin Zabi. <laughs> Garmin Zabi leading the board with 31K damage. Uh, I, I am nothing but anytime I've played against Garmin Zabi, I've been in situations where I've been in matchmaking with other people and they'd be like, oh, it's Garmin Zabi on any team. I'm like, who? And then that match would be over in an instant. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> he is uh, that's Garmin Zabi. He's a player that haunts Gar- my dreams Garmin's and definitely fuels cooking. my nightmares. Yes. But uh, yeah. in this game, he was the scourge of the sky against Mappy Ducks. Deto did a fantastic job but just not as on it as Garma was. Garma drank his, uh, drank his dubby, drank his uh, gamer fuel, whatever, whatever uh, plug sponsorship brand uh, energy drink. He uh, got his, his rest and he came, he came prepared. He came to fight. Had breakfast too. Yep. Probably had breakfast. Meal prep and everything. Yeah. Took his vitamins. Breakfast. Vitamin, multivitamin, magnesium, iron came in here and flex it for us today. But um, this is what Gundam Evolution again is all about. And uh, you'll see much more of it after the break. Winning just some of their engages and just enough that's keeping that objective going in their favor. I mean, they just killed themselves in the process. However, a great G maneuver comes out and zone of, uh in his favor. Even though it's being disarmed. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. And there it is. As soon as the Hades gets popped from Perk, the butter mistake from the error that is Perk. Oh, we do see Deta going down as Deta is keeping the hold this long enough, even though that Hyperion bubble is a phenomenal idea. Uh, really badly. Cobaltic picking up a 2k right there. 3k, Cobaltic going crazy. Of course, the Dom ult Great defense. followed by yeah. the Hades. Yeah. Beautiful team kill. kill. Why does it take five people, six people, to defend that one checkpoint? Oh. So in a situation, how many times have you been harbor? No one waits at the first objective. You always start oh. setting up for the next one. The counter G maneuver from the Ethereum. But this yeah. is continue to help. It's just, that's what we needed to see the last play. Yes, that is what we needed to see, but we're all-